there's probably around 100 or more guns in Phantom Forces. Honestly, too many to count right now, but it's a lot. And some of these guns can be turned into something completely different, sometimes even entirely different guns. But one of my favorite things to do in this game, after ranking up over 200 times, is to turn normal rifles and carbines into pistols. And there's a lot of guns that you can do this to. Yes, I've made this video before, but I missed a lot of things. So after this video, go watch that one. I'll leave it at the end, which you should stay to because there's some pretty cool things here. Anyways. For instance, you could turn the Scar-L into a 9mm pistol, and it's still basically just as good as any of the other guns in the entire assault rifle category. Based, I know. You get this tiny little magazine which has an anime girl on it in my case, and your damage goes from 33 maximum to 34 maximum, and 25 minimum down to 20 minimum. 3 shot up close? I think yes. 20 minimum at a distance is still good too. That's a 5 shot. Yes, damage isn't everything though, muzzle velocity is kinda low on this. Funny enough, recoil is basically unchanged, going from a full-size cartridge down to a pistol cartridge, so that's neat, I guess. Oh, and also your fire rate goes from uh, 625 to 725, yeah. On the last video I did on this though, I covered the FAL 5063 with the 45 conversion, but there's also a 45 conversion on the FAL Para Shorty, the SMG version of it. There's actually a lot of ammo types for the FAL for some reason. It's got 45 up close damage, eh, see what they did there, which is still going to be a 3 shot in most cases, but its range damage is 18, 6 shots needed. And with this recoil, I say to you, my good sir, good luck and happy 2000 credits wasted. The PP-19 Bison itself has two stock pistol cartridges, one of which being 9x18 Makarov in its ungodly sized helical magazine with like 60 some odd bullets. However, we can make it a more pistolier pistol. Yeah? With the 7.62 conversion. No, not the one used in AKs, though that would be very funny. Hint, hint. I'm talking about the one used by the PPSH, which honestly makes this thing look sick. It's too bad it really sucks overall, even though it has better overall damage than the Scar with 9mm. Its recoil feels a lot more harsh, and given that your magazine capacity is cut in half from the stock 9x18 conversion, it seems just really not worth the trade-off, let alone the 24... 2400 kills needed? Bruh, how many credits did I spend on this? The larger version of the scar all, the Scar Hammer, also has a 9mm conversion on it, and it has 100 bullets, an endless stream, if you will, of pistol caliber heaven. Though it's the same gun as the scar all, but scaled up a bit, using the same ammo type and me having put the same attachments on it, it's less of a direct ammo capacity upgrade and more of a holy crap this thing's damage is awful, uh, uh, upgrade? No more 3 shot point blank, no no no, or even a guaranteed 5 shot at a range, that'd be too much fun. Can't have that in a video game, nope, not allowed. Sure, it's whatever, it has 300 rounds total that you can use, so just hold left click with it and try to enjoy yourself. Speaking of enjoying yourself, if you're enjoying yourself watching this video, subscribe. Don't consider subscribing. Considering takes too long. Just do it. The button's right there. Become a channel member as well to get a cool badge by your name and some cool emojis. And uh, the thanks button is always nice too. Okay, back to the video. Thanks for subscribing. The Saiga 12 and Saiga 12U are both shotguns and both have 9mm conversions, and both guns make people want to kill you if you use birdshot on them. Sadly, with the 9mm conversion, they're made a 3 round burst on both guns. But they both basically have the same stats as each other, just respective stuff that you'd expect to be lower for secondary, lower muzzle velocity, penetration, range, uh, damage, etc, etc. However, the one thing they both have in common though is just how bad they both are. They're both 3 shots point blank, doesn't sound too bad, but because it's a tiny little baby bullet, anything that's not within slapping distance is basically basically not going to land. Plus, just look at that recoil. This is a full-size gun and it's acting like a Zip-22 with 50 BMG. And of course the secondary would be worse. Gameplay need not apply. Okay, here's a little gameplay. The Springfield, currently one of my favorite snipers and the newest sniper in the game, has what's called a Pedersen device, which yes, is a real thing, which allows you to turn your high-powered classic sniper rifle into a 7.65 by 20, super weird ammo type, semi-auto pistol. I, I I don't know either. Cool idea, but considering it wasn't in any of my history books as a kid, it probably wasn't that widely used. Okay, enough history. Is it worth? That is the question. It has real similar damage, again, to the scar with 9mm, but again, damage isn't everything. Its fire rate is 540, which is pretty low for a pistol caliber sniper. <laughs> As if that's a category. The recoil is okay, good muzzle velocity, the sound effects are nice, and it's super unique. That in a 40 round magazine is enough to give this the official Some Steven seal of approval. Sadly, I don't think I'm welcome in any museums anymore now for destroying this beautiful piece of history. 
Now this, I'm dreading. I've had people complain a lot to me about not talking about this before, and frankly, I didn't even know it was in the game before you maniacs started staring at me for saying that I don't know what it is. But here we are, the FT300, the BFG for the Olympics, and for people who think that they're too high rank for the BFG. It has a 22 conversion, of course it does, which as far as I know has the least damage of any sniper in the game, however, the most ammo of any sniper in the game too. I, I don't know why you'd need that much ammo, but okay. Its selling point is that it's a low level Steyr Scout with a 9 times headshot multiplier, so always a guaranteed headshot, a fast reload time between shots, and I guess it's kinda useful if you really want to go for 101 headshot kills in one life in one game. It's really not particularly different from any other gun that's just only good for headshots though, so do with that what you will. I don't doubt that I missed some, but at least watch the first part before you say that I missed something. Should be on screen somewhere here. That and subscribe for more videos like this, and let me know if you have any other video ideas in the comments below. Buy the merch, join the Discord, become a channel member, all that good stuff. Okay, bye! Sight looks clear, they're probably tons. Hold on, I'll smoke. Hold I'll on, smoke. I got... Well, yep, yeah, alright, don't... Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Back, uh, back, 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 got him. Oh! oh. That was beautiful. God tier gameplay. He's scared, he's too scared. Oh, let's go! Yeah.